I'm back! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back. I missed you so much. I actually have been seeing your comments on my Instagram and TikTok. Where's her YouTube? Is she gone? I haven't forgot about you. I missed you so much and I love you guys. I just took a little break, but I wanted to get ready for the day with me. Wake up, we're gonna do skincare hair. I make my breakfast now and my new everyday makeup routine, which is this right here. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that you need to try in this video. So keep watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe right here to see all the makeup tips and tricks every single week and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. Any of the products that I use today is going to be linked right over here. Let's hop into bed. Good morning. Let's get ready for the day. Oh, to my knee. Okay, I just washed my face. I'm cutting to moisturizer because I don't want this to take forever. Two things I've been putting on my face every morning is this Clarins Double Serum. And every night, I actually put this on every morning and every night. I really, really like it. It has amazing benefits too. And I like to press this into my skin rather than rub it. So it really sinks deep into the skin. And then because I am dry AF, like I have super dry skin. So I've been using this True Botanicals Chabella Extreme Cream. So it's really, really hydrating. And I obviously really love it because it's on. But I work it into my hands really good. And then I also kind of press and drag this into my skin. I'm gonna put on some eye cream. This one is from Ula Henriksen. Guys, I have been off of YouTube for like a month and a half. I have never done that in my history of being on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for 10 years as a living, providing for my family for 10 years. That's a long, long time. These long form videos take so long and I actually really love them. I absolutely adore them, but nobody's watching them. And so to be honest, I have been really just, um, sorry, this is how I like snatch the face because I don't want to make videos when I'm not inspired to make them because then it's just like, what am I doing, you know? Um, so I've been making a lot of short form videos, but this is my home. You guys are my home. I started with long form YouTube videos. This is where I started my career as a beauty content creator and how I started my business from YouTube and the success that I've had from it. I actually genuinely love you guys because you brought me to where I am today. I'm gonna just do my hair really quick. I'm just gonna show you little snippets because it's gonna take forever. A round brush. It doesn't have a name on it. It looks like this and I have a Dyson. I love my Dyson. I need that blow dryer round brush thing. Quick little blow dry. And we're done. Let's go make the next view of today's outfit. We're gonna be chilling in and filming in all day. Also, how cute, how cute is my phone cover, you guys? So freaking cute. Everyone say hi to Lamb Chop. Guys, I finally got some of my furniture in. My table, how cute is that? With the little chairs and these chairs I got in, finally. We're gonna make breakfast together. I have been on my healthy journey, ignore the Chipotle. I've been working with a nutritionist and I've been following the meals that she's given me and it's really helped. Like, I feel like I definitely feel a lot healthier. I'm gonna make um, avocados just with egg whites and turkey bacon. So I put my turkey bacon, I just bought some yesterday. And this is my turkey bacon. I have not been drinking enough water. Literally hardly any water in yesterday. I had the worst headache. I got so dizzy and I was really nauseous and I knew it was water because all I had was coffee. It was bad. I'm dehydrated. I need water. So I'm drinking tons of water today. Of course, coffee too. Breakfast. Turkey bacon. Extra crunchy. So good. Egg whites, avocado, cheese, and bacon. Turkey bacon. This is the iced coffee that I use, and then I go in with a milk. We're good! Oh my god, I am back! It feels so good to be doing my makeup for YouTube 
right now. So I'm gonna show you all the things that I've been using, everything that I've been loving. I'm gonna use a primer with a gripping finish so that the concealers and all the makeup actually stays in, on my face in place. The Blur and Moisture Primer Serum because it has a tacky base, it has that hyaluronic acid, so my skin is going to be moisturized and I'm just gonna pop that on. Okay, I wanna talk to you guys about how freaking amazing it is to use a powder puff for your base makeup. It's life changing. I'm not over exaggerating. It really looks like a freaking filter. Makeup by Mario foundation, which I've already used up. I'm in the shade 120. I'm gonna need a new foundation <laughs> because this one I have been using. I've been so stuck on this for so long that I just, I need to try new things out. So I just put my foundation on like that and then I go in with the powder puff. I don't know what it is about the puff, but it adds more coverage. It gives you this smooth, blurred out face. I don't know if it's the texture of the puff. The puff I'm using right now is from this brand called Bad and Bougie Beauty. It's such a cute, cute brand. It's all pink and their products are really good. So look at that flawlessness in the skin. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I'm gonna shorten my forehead a little bit. And then for the nose, I feel like it's too dark for the nose, but I am gonna do the chin. Always forget underneath my chin. I don't know why, but lately I've been forgetting to blend out the contour on my chin. So I'm gonna do it first and it blends out so beautifully. I love this contour because it blends gorgeously into the skin like effortlessly with the powder puff it's even better and to contour i'm going to take the look at this old school old school youtube days this is the shade light medium and we're going to do the nosy you see how it's more cool tone this is the shade you want to use if you wanted to create structure or shape on the face the other one is more for adding warmth to the face. That one I feel like you could do a little bit of both, but if you really truly want to get that structure out of the face, you need a cool tone contour. For the glow and the blush, I'm gonna use the new Drunk Elephant Rosy Drops, and it's literally like a liquid dropper. And so I'm just gonna use a little bit like right here. I always get so many compliments on the glow. I'm putting a little bit under my eyes, kind of using it as a color corrector as well. Um, this is a really pretty look for spring. If you just bring your blush in to the under eye, it gives you the most gorgeous look. I wanna use powder blush, so I do wanna use a light amount of the rosy drops. Over that, I'm gonna do a yellow color corrector. This one is from e.l.f. I have been obsessed with this. I've been color correcting my eye. For, since the entire time that I've been off of YouTube, I've been color correcting my eyes, which I am so happy I'm starting to do again. But basically what I'll do is mix yellow and then I'll mix in, I was using peach, but then um, re more recently I just started to skip it and just do concealer in yellow. I don't know, I just like the way it brightens a little bit more. I'm using the Dominique Concealer in shade Oat Milk and I'll just put it in the spaces like that and right in the center. Take a new sponge, because I feel like I've worn this one out. So I'm gonna take the new, this one from Huda Beauty. It's blend out with the sponge. And look at this, like, so flawless. It doesn't soak up extra product. So if you want more coverage, and if you want that airbrush look, use a powder puff. But if you don't like a lot of coverage. Okay, we are all blended in, and now I'm gonna go in with my powders. So for powder, I'm, I'm gonna use the best. I'm sorry, but I'm never usually like this, but if you haven't tried these, you're missing out. These are the best setting powders on the market right now. The ones that I created, they're hyaluronic acid infused, they're hydrating, they keep, they sold out twice when I launched them. But I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder. I also have a pink powder, and I mix the pink powder with the translucent powder. This gives you such a beautiful, bright, smooth under eye. So after this, don't go in like this. Please don't go in like this because your makeup is gonna be so cakey, so uneven. Take it on the back of your hand and move it around. However it's gonna look on the sponge is how it's gonna look on your face. So you see how it's a lot more smooth and you just keep rubbing it in until it's smooth. And once it's smooth, oh my God, just look at my hand. Look how smooth my hand is now. It's literally a filter. So you just put it on, right, go right in and watch your skin transform 
into the smoothest skin you've ever had. I always get amazed by my, like, I'm just like always amazed. Like, wow, that is good. All the excess, I'll just put on my eyelid as just like a nice little soft base. I really don't do it too much to my eyes, but I will just kind of go over. I am gonna do something with my eyes, but I'm not gonna do too much. Watch me do a full glam. <laughs> Story of my life. This is my the bronzer I've been using and I'm still loving. I mwah, She's the best. The Soft Radiance from Huda Beauty in Tan Light is my shade. Press that into the skin, but this is just gonna give more warmth. And you look like you just came back from the beach. While I'm here in the bronzer stage, I'll take it with a brush, go in it, and I'll go through my under, like my inner corner, and then I'll start to blend this out to the outer tail to kind of give me like that lift, like that. And I'll do that on both sides, of course. So I'll start on this inner corner, and this is gonna really enhance your eye shape. It's gonna draw attention to your eye just by putting a little bit of shadow right here it immediately draws the eye into the eye it's like the first place you look and then i'm going to go into the nose and connect it and it's almost it reminds me honestly guys it's like so silly but it reminds me of like a landing strip for an airplane like zoom like it just takes the eyes to the eyes like it draws attention to that area and i'm just gonna put a little under my nose so then i'm gonna take some on my under my lash line like that i put my blush on my eyes so it looks like i actually did some type of eyeshadow but i didn't this came out from juvia's place this duo blush and i am obsessed because i've been doing mid-tone blushing and this is just coming through for me they have pink i love this color too this take the hot pink mainly focus this on the outer part of the cheek and whatever i'm using i'm just going to squeeze the brush and just go through the outer part of the eyelid like that it's a quick lazy girl hat makeup hack. Monochromatic outfits, makeup, it always looks good. Like styling your home. Take a little bit of that hot pink and put it right underneath. And it's also giving spring. Just to tie everything together, bam, she's spring. So there's gonna be a space right here. You see that space? Instead of having that space, we're gonna mid-tone blush. And so what mid-tone blushing is, you get a pale color that's in between the, um, the shade you have on and your skin tone, this chalky pale pink. And I'm gonna put this, it's gonna make it look even more airbrushed and pretty and bright. It blends it together so beautifully. It is that really airbrushed, pretty soft pink under eye. My husband says that it looks just like a lot of pink under the eye, but I like it. But just blending your blushes together so they don't look disconnected right in this area is a game changer. I'm gonna go in a little bit with this HD Velvet Matte Skin from Makeup Forever. It's so amazing. I'm gonna go in with my powder puff and just take a little bit underneath the eye area and in between the, um, the face, just because I feel like I did put a little bit too much blush in that area. Take that pink and blend it right into the outer corner. Put on this Rare Beauty Face Mist that I'm running out of. And my face i love to get my skin juicy wet right after i put on powder and then just let it sit let it live its life do not touch it because your skin your makeup will move so just let it live its life for a second and it will come back to life and look like skin again okay the mascara i'm using is from mac the extended play an og but a goodie you can never go wrong with this and i use it on my lower lash line it just pulls out all the little baby hairs that are hiding. I love long lower lashes. And I already have a little bit of mascara and I curl my lash before I start my makeup at all. So it's a new thing that I've been doing. I should do a whole how I prep my face routine. Pretty lash, put them on really quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, my lashes are on. I'm gonna show you my favorite lip combo right now. My current favorite lip is from A Dose of Colors. It's the stone shade. So I just like overline this part of my lip and then this part I I line my natural lip line. I feel like it gives like a natural pout. I just love this kind of pink, this cool tone pink. So once I have that down, I'll take a little bit of this blush. This is like a peach blush from P. Louise. A cool tone peach blush. With this Ilia Maybe Violet lip gloss. 
combo of the cool tones so gorgeous for a little bit more glam i use the laura lee sparkling iris on the center it smells so so good and it sparkles beautifully like i'm obsessed with this gloss my favorite lip combo i hope you guys love it try it out hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you try it out i miss you guys so much if you have any questions for me if you want to ask me anything leave me the question in the comments. I will answer it in my next video. Um, if you want to see me again next week, I will be here for you. I promise. And I'll be answering all your questions. Whatever questions you have, I will answer. Before I let you guys go, I missed this part of my videos. I just want to let you know how important you are in your life. Be there for yourself. Be present in the moment with yourself. Stop thinking about the past. Stop thinking about the future. Think about what's happening right now at this moment. I love you guys so much. You are so special and important. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.